Hey everyone, how's it going? This time I wanted to show you a good feature in Steam. It's been there for a while, but if you don't have two computers you won't notice it and that's why I'm using webcam to show you exactly how this feature works. I'm talking about the in-home streaming feature and we have a play button and we also have a drop down box now. I'll try to put this a little bit closer so you can actually see. And this drop down it says play on this machine or stream and then your other computer's name. So I can stream from another PC. For example if you don't have the game installed you can just stream it from your other PC. And it's a pretty awesome feature. I tried it once and it's really awesome. Some people have asked me how it works exactly and this is why I'm making the video with a camera instead of a screen recorder to show you exactly how this feature works. In here you see my secondary PC and I'm gonna test it out on spin tires. I haven't installed it uh, on, the, on the PC, I mean this other PC in here. So if I uh, click on this box I'll see install on this machine or stream from this PC. And I'm gonna stream it so I'll click on the stream button and here's what's going on. I didn't touch anything on this PC. Uh, I have to allow it, that was my uh, security system. And there we go. And this is how the stream works. And if I turn it, see it's almost no lag. Well, there is no lag. I can't see any visual lag. And I can control it from the other PC. Uh, you can control the game from both of the PCs. For example, if I press it on this keyboard. Well, I'm kind of stuck, but see, I can control it from there. And this is another keyboard for that PC and I can also control it from there and how it works is that it streams just a video that's why it starts up on both of the computers well not both it starts up on this computer so it uses the graphics card and the CPU and everything from this computer it also disables the sound the sound is converted in there I mean streamed in there and the sound is muted on the primary PC so you can easily play on other PC and how much upload and download it uses? Well, it uses about uh, 1 to 2 megabytes per second. You can get away with like uh, 500 kilobytes per second. Maybe even lower, I don't know. But I just wanted to show you how it works so you people know what you're into. Unfortunately, this truck is not moving anywhere, and this is not a gameplay, this is just a small stream demonstration. And yeah, it has absolutely no lag at all. And again, I can use two, mi two mice at the same time. Whoops. <laughs> and, <laughs> confusing. I was just moving both of them at the same time. But I hope this explains how it works and anything you do in the game is exactly the same. Both PC controls are exactly the same so if I quit the game in this one it will quit in this one and vice versa so I'll click the exit button on that PC, the other one, I'm using that one, not this one. And once I exit this one has a little bit of lag as you can see and there you go. So that's how the in-home uh, in streaming works and you don't need to do anything at all, all you need to do is log into uh, your Steam account from both of your PCs and the stream option will be automatically available once you click on that arrow next to a play button. Uh, I think if you go from Steam settings if you go into Steam settings and then go in home streaming, yes you can disable in-home streaming if you want to so that is up to you if you wanna disable it or not and also there are client options fast balance and beautiful advanced desktop resolution bandwidth limiting all this kind of stuff so enable hardware decoding 
display performance information. I haven't messed with that, but I just want to show you how it works so you people know how to use this uh, in-home streaming. It's, it's pretty awesome. Over internet, as I said, you need quite good upload speed from the machine you are streaming into another machine, but it works over the internet. You just have to log into uh, your Steam account from both of the PCs and that's it, you're done. I hope this explained everything you needed to know about in-home streaming and I'll see you next time.